<laughs> what is this music? Are you kidding? Let's see if I can get this without coming out. Mm. Yo, what up, Hammerhead? Yo, what's crackalacking, YouTube? Oh, my lord. Where have you motherfuckers been and what is, what is that? And the tattoo. What's crackalacking, Hammerheads? Um, what up, RJ, Rob Molina, Big Boy, Ryan, Christina, Rob Molina, what up, peeps? How's your motherfucking days going? And did you guys watch Raw last night? You guys watch uh, WrestleMania last night? Because I did and I uh, watched it for free on some Facebook thing and it was pretty good. What up, go, what's going on, uh, Al Django, 87? Uh, thank you over there on Twitch, my love, my man. So, I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Good Monday. So, uh, I don't know why I forgot why I moved this chat box here. I guess I'm going to move that chat box back over to the other side because it is blocking me face. Oh, wait. I only want one. There we go. What's going on, guys? Uh, Kofi Ma Mania. Mania. Yeah, I, was, I don't know wrestling like that. Like, I knew he was popular-ish, but I didn't know he was that popular, which was surprising, and uh, people went crazy for that. I was more excited for, like, the entrance for uh, Triple H. His was cool. The Batista thing was kind of wacky. Uh, Shane McMahon, he's way too old. He's getting his ass whooped. Um... The main event kind of sucked. I was hoping for the main event to come on earlier because I was falling asleep and it ruined my entire day to where I, I couldn't go out at all today. Like, I woke up and was like, I am exhausted. Uh, the Battle Royal, there's a lot of flops. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but at the main event, the end of the main event, you could hear the wrestlers talking to themselves or telling each other what to do next. Each move, you could see it. You could you could literally listen to it and hear it, which was uh, very interesting. I, I, I swear, I don't know if you guys seen that part. Like, if you rewatch that match and put the volume up, you can hear them saying like they're on the ropes, like one, two, four, no, not yet. Okay, ready, 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 like check it out. You definitely can find it, man. Seven hours of WWE is a lot. I know, and. There was so many flaws in it. I just watched like a huge video on it. Like those the lights that they had at uh, City Field. Is it City Field? No, it's MetLife. Were beaming on the uh, viewers to where they couldn't even see the matches. It was ridiculous. So that is a uh, sh I don't know seven hours. Um, yeah. Can we do an Ad Icon collection update? I think you asked me that earlier. Uh, Nerdy Nick, yes, I can get one done when I'm Luna. Um, I saw Robert Kinzel was playing some uh, Fortnite before, and uh, I was gonna check in, but I was watching videos and stuff. Um, I don't know, the camera's all the way off. So I actually was playing around with some things lately. I was playing with this section here. I added some new figures up here, which includes this guy. Who's pretty awesome. Uh, that's Darth Maul, Darth Vader. And I unboxed some other figures. And including the Neno Droid. Just the Neno Droid. So, and I had a little bit of fun. Uh, I did everything off camera. I kind of, I don't know. I kind of been doing that. Um, I was going to unbox a hot toy today. But, what up, Billy the Kid? Um, but I was like, uh, I got this mailbox somewhere under here. Amazon Prime order, which is nice. Um, I also got this in the mail. This is my PayPal card reader for the Funko Pop swap that I'm doing mystery boxes for on Saturday at 11:30. Follow me on Instagram to get the details for that if you live on Long Island. But um, yeah, so I got a little card reader swiper. You can do the, even the insert thing where you put the chip in and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and they only take like 2%, so that was pretty good. Uh, did you see Bret Hart get attacked? Yes, I saw that. I saw Bret Hart got attacked. I saw, uh, um, I see a little bit of everything. Because I'm interested in like the WWE guys that, are, that bring, you know, to bring some drama. I kind of want to watch it, right? 
Bret Hart, not Bret Mike Hart, but Bret Hart. We get it. Um, yeah, BBGS crack a lacking. So that is that. Um, I think we got two cameras in here. No, whoop. that is a. Let me get to that away. That's a boxing contract, guys. We have a contract. That is uh, taking place. We got a big fight coming up in in June. So uh, the beginning of summer. No, uh, the end of spring because summer is June 21st. So that's going to be exciting. And uh, you're probably going to see less videos because I got to go full time. Full time on that one. Uh, the Hawkins and Ryder thing. Yes. They, you know, they sold like everything. Like we knew he was going to win. We knew they were going to win because how much hype they put into them like, oh my God, he hasn't won a match in 261 fights or whatever. 261. Like, how's he still in the WWE if he hasn't won that many times? Um, this was, you could say this was WrestleMania of the, the uh, unruling and uncounted, unknowing characters like because of Kofi. Talking about uh, Hawkins, then seeing the man like they 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 preach this the whole time, the entire time about you know oh they never got accepted to where they were and this and that and I can't believe these motherfuckers were on ESPN today talking about their hard work and everything. Uh, the man and Kofi had a finally deserving of an opportunity. I get it. You gotta like do, but it's it's. it's just, it's not real. It's just, it's not. I even, Punk is like, how the matches go? I said they were rigged. <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, they were rigged. Uh, underdog Mania. Um, this was an order from, what's it, Twitch stream. It's not on the Um, uh, it is, like, wait a minute. And this was the Emerald City Comic Con box that we got for, we pre-ordered this. And you guys know what that means. Of Capital City. Um, I think I'm gonna unbox uh, figures a little bit more this week. Uh, I was gonna move today. I was actually gonna unbox a bunch of hot toys by myself. That's how uh, that's Santa got. And oh my God, Can you see that? Has Amazon stuffed up their game, or because you got almost every Comic Con exclusive, we got some. Gotcha. Well, because these are Emerald City Comic Con exclusives, we got some extra love on here. Sorry about the music. Thank you. I'm reading it off too. Um, I don't know what that music is. Like, I put on just like anything. Let's see what this is. Maybe that's better. No, I don't. But um, Disney man, thank you for your host, Mother Flock, over there. I appreciate that. Uh, let me uh, open up one other thing too. What was that, babe? Disney man, Disney man, Disney man 22, 2002. Uh, this was uh, a pre-order and a half, I could say. Uh, let me go over to this over here, actually. I got like 10 screens open, guys. You guys, I don't know how the other people do it, but I do stuff a little different. Um... Hold on one sec. Let me switch this over. Nope, not that. Um, I don't know what this music is. That's this. And I need to get to my dashboard. That's what it is. Creator dashboard. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. This is the man. is host of man with crack lacking. <laughs> All right, we got up here now. Let's um, like to see my hand in the video. Where is not events, not channel? Oh God, I flocked up, guys. I suck. Oh, I didn't go to Streamlabs. My fault. My fault. There we go. All right, log in. Log in to Twitch. It's been a while since I've been on here. I feel like a noob. I feel like a noob, guys. I'm like a noob. All right, there we go. 
and we'll go back over here boom all right let's get into this so these were emerald city comic-con exclusives i normally only order two of everything for um, amazon because they usually come damaged and from what we're seeing here this doesn't look damaged at all i got these to take them out of the box originally and let's see if we can get this down a little bit and let me swipe that camera around with this right here boom all right yeah i think that's right i don't know it's getting crazy in this in this world man it's a crazy day crazy day um i can only stream till eight o'clock each day from now on because i have to go and get ready for my next fight so that means i gotta stretch between like eight and nine so that's like my new life i gotta get up pretty early and get back to my normal schedule but um my next fight's coming to be announced soon i'm not gonna say who what where just basically when it's about it so it's gonna be uh pretty interesting and you guys are gonna go uh you guys are gonna go crazy. I'm fighting a six-time world champion. I'll put it that way. Put it that way. Now, this is their shipping, and I'm loving this. Look at that. They put a little divider in here. They were not flocking around. Now I'm gonna return one and say it was damaged though. Alright, let's check this out. The hyenas. And I never knew what these two guys' names was. I always knew it was Ed. We got the Hyenas 2019 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. Is that sticker different? That sticker looks a little different than the other ones. And then on the back here, we got Ed, Sh Shenzi, Banzi, Banzai. And then we got Mufasa, Simba, Nala. Pumba, Zazu, and Timon, and Lua, Lua P Pumba, Lua Pumba. So, I have Mufasa flocked. We got the Zazu. I guess I'll get the Nala. I didn't get the Simba. I didn't get Pumona, Pumona, or Timba because I already own them. The the original one. So. Maybe I'll get the Nala so I got the set going. And I'm glad that Funko got the license to keep going with this because there are figures that we want. For sure. And pretty surprised that they didn't release some of these like re-release stuff. Which is I guess somewhat good. But boom, let's check these guys out. These guys are gonna be staying at the box. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Check that out. Head zone, Terrence. Heads, you know, it's funny. I'm so used to articulation now that I kind of would want this to turn a little bit. I kind of want this to turn, right? Don't you guys want this to turn just a tad? Like, I want to be able to go like this and put it my own, own way. Did anybody else get these? Because so far they're pretty cool. I forget being broke and not being able to get them. Oh no. Akuna Matata. Nice three pack. Uh, good looking pop right there. What up, Pop Collector 101? And this, who's this guy? Zaz. Such an S. Zazui? I don't remember. Shangzai. That's what it was. Shangzai. Look at his tongue sticking out. His rotates. At least. So this was Ed. I don't know. But his head rotates. I don't know why his don't. Oh. It was, uh, it was like glued. So you couldn't. You see that glue right there? It's like right underneath his, uh, chin. Uh, I'd rather have his head turned so I can actually, like, if I want to put him on the thing, I could turn his head so he's not looking in the same direction. But if you, I don't want to turn his whole body, I want to turn his head too. So his head does now move, which uh, um, maybe they don't want him to move because then he can't stand because now he doesn't stand well. 
Maybe that's why they don't want your head to move. Oh no, he's still standing. Alright. I feel like all Funko Pops should come with a display stand with them because there's nothing to them. It's almost quite embarrassing. Uh, it does come with an insert in the back too of the rock. What's Mufasa's home call? Pride Rock. We definitely need to get the mom. We definitely need to get an old Nala. Uh, I do like these guys. I like these and I wouldn't, I don't think I would pick them up any other way besides in a Funko Pop form because what are you gonna do with them? And if you did, you know, one would come with three different faces and probably two different arms. I think these are pretty cool. Their eyes do look a little bit crazy looking. Like, you, yeah. It's like when they attack at the end when they fight because it's dark out. <laughs> I don't know. These are pretty decent. Uh, did you guys get these at all? Did you guys take them out of bo uh, the box? Out of the box? Pop of the box? I don't know. One of those words. Pride Rock. Yeah. Funko Pops are crack in a box. I had to back off from purchasing them because it's so hard to keep up with all the pops and keep coming up with them. Yeah. So with these... Uh, Magoo, I highly recommend you not to do that. You have to literally uh, choose like one series that you're going to pick for Funko Pops and that's it. And don't choose Marvel. If you're going to choose Marvel, choose like one character you really enjoy. Don't choose anything else because if you choose to collect all the Marvel Pops, you are just going to go broke. At least with the Star Wars Pops now. You can somewhat keep up with them, but don't try to collect any more movies, guys. Try to stay away from the movies because there's so many commons and then so many exclusives. And one of the biggest flaws you always hear from me is the hardest thing with Funko Pops is if you want to buy that new series, you have to buy it before the movie comes out and before you've even seen it. Like, you guys already own all the Infinity War Pops. I mean, Endgame Pops. You guys, are all, you already own all the Endgame Pops. And you don't even know if the film's going to be good or not. Or if you're going to like it, or there's going to be another character, or you're going to wish you got something else, uh, kind of thing. So I, uh, I hate that about Funko now. I literally hate that. And for me, for being a big-time collector. So, uh, when is Uncle Funko coming back? Uncle Funko might make a visit to uh, the next fight. Um, I was supposed to go up there during the springtime, but I'm not going to be able to because I have a fight coming up. Yeah. So these were the first ones. The packaging is in 2019 has blown away any packaging in the whole process of the entire elimination form of going. Uh, I don't even know to where they used to be. You know, I used to get my Funko Pops. You used to have to buy, I thought buying two of them, I thought I was gonna get damaged ones. But I knew I, I was gonna get them and take them out of the box. But again, back in the day, for you OG collectors, even from last year, that shit comes flocked up. So you guys are getting spoiled. This thing has so many different knives on it. I waited to buy the Avengers Pops till now, which I think was smart. Well, the movie doesn't come out and you have to buy the exclusives right away because if the exclusives sold out, you can't get them anywhere and then you're screwed. Uh, me, if I was buying the Endgame Pops, I would only buy them during hot cash. I'll wait it out until hot cash comes around and then I'll buy them all up. Or you could do what I just did. Um, or you do what I just did with the uh, Toy Story Pops. I bought them at Barnes and Nobles for 27% off. Yeah, for 20% uh, off. They're in two bucks to, for the champ. Diamond Toy Collectibles, thank you, pal. How you doing? Hope you're having a great day today, you mother flocker. I appreciate that two doll hair dono uh, for sure. You the man. Hope business is going well over there. And if you guys haven't already, they got Diamond Toy Collectibles. You want to see some pops? Uh, they always got some new stuff. Have you started to collect the Endgame Pops? No, I'm not collecting any of the Endgame Pops. Um, I own 
what I really like. This, the pops that I keep out of the box or keep out on display, you guys see it. It's the grails. It's the $1,000 pops or $150 pops and up. You could say I'm shallow Cletus in 2019. I only collect the valuable ones. Yeah, flocked up on that one. Thank you over there, Disney man. And you like what? Punky still thinks the best pop and the most valuable pop in the future is going to be Do uh, Dohan. Dohan, that Chase, the one that everybody hates and thinks it's the worst pop ever. She thinks it's going to be valued one day. So <laughs> She still has one mint. She's about to send it in and get graded. <laughs> I should. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'm using hot cash for Spider-Man Far From Home. Yes. Those pops, I'm going to pick those guys up. Those pops are off the charts. And because it's a standalone film, there's usually not that many pops to actually collect. Uh, I'll, I'm definitely picking up the villains. I don't know about every Spider-Man, uh, but the villains in there is pff, unreal. I, unreal. It's unreal how they have those. So I'm all for that. Um, this, again, you can see the little cardboard it came in. And it looks like they like this was like a big plan. It looks like and it was set up perfectly because this isn't like they took a piece of cardboard and just folded it themselves. This was like out of the factory and put into this box together. And this is actually probably came from uh, Vietnam like this. Um. Do not put on the shelf before March 14, 2019. I wonder if this was supposed to go somewhere else now. Because it says, don't put it on the shelf till March 14, 2019. Hmm. Well, this was us. This was for Emerald City Comic Con. And it went to Amazon. I wonder if we can... Uh, scan that like can we scan that and tell me what store it goes to it would be the only one ever yeah it would be the only one ever graded ever <laughs> it's like getting an energy card graded uh are you going to get the armored thanos hot toy yes i have that on pre-order i have nebula on pre-order i have iron man 85 on pre-order and then I just put together like a whole list of stuff I wanted to put on pre-order. It's like $3,000. So I got to sell some Funko Pops to uh, pay for that, which is going to be my Game of Thrones Funko Pops that I don't sell to the public. And it's going to be sold on a different uh, platform for like the one percenters out there. Like if you're like into Game of Thrones or Mint Funko Pops, you're the only, I'm the only guy for you. And I sell them at three times the value. And they, and the, those people buy them. Another market. Another market. Um, I'm liking this. I, this did cost $45 though, by the way. For you guys. $45. But I, yeah. 45 bucks. It's an exclusive. I think it was $45, right? It was 40 bucks. Somewhere up there. Um, I'm definitely returning one of them. Uh, Amazon. Um, unless you guys know before I do. Let's see if you get me. Let's see if you can get me. Man, I ordered this a while ago. Um, it was $40. 40 bucks. Little man, put that in my hand. And what's in my cart? Oh, I got a... I got a first form or final forms uh, freezer... SH Figuart, the first one ever was released. He's, he's 129 on Amazon Prime. And I'm missing him. And uh, I think that scene was so epic that I really want it. It comes with a rock too, you know, when he's pointing and he's just killing all the guys. Like, how come uh, how come Krillin always dies? How come Krillin's sacrifice is always, sac uh, always like put to the side for everybody else's or, or the world's uh, life. Like the world is going to move on. Krillin has to die. What would you say the best point fifty pop protectors are? Chalice, Shumi, and the one from the vaulted vinyl. Um, I would put Shumi's in the fifth. You know, they're, they're in the fifth place even though there's three. Um, and then I would put Chalice at number two. And then vaulted vinyl at number one. 
Love the Lion King 3-pack. Yeah, these things are pretty sick. These are pretty sick. What up, Jetta? Um, Shenzu Bean. That's his name? Yeah, so I put Vaulted Vinyl at number one. Uh, Chalice at number two. And then Shoe Me at three with that. So... These were awesome. I'm definitely gonna be returning one of them because I didn't know they were gonna come so minty fresh, kind of say. And I believe I actually have a three pack pop protector around somewhere. Somewhere there's a three pack pop protector um, that I got from Chalice Collectibles because they sent me like a thousand dollars worth of freaking uh, pop protectors for two packs. I don't say that, but say like. $400. It was like a 25 pound. Oh no, it was 30 pounds of pop protectors Chalice, Coll Chalice Collectibles sent me. Uh, which is ridiculous. And uh, just noticed now that we actually had 36 subscribers on Twitch. Thank you very much. All you motherfuckers over there. If you haven't already, hit me up. If you got a Twitch Prime, it's free. You just go over there. Boom. You get entered in this month's giveaway. And you get to help support the stream. Uh, which is nice. So yeah what up so um this uh besides this this week we have i'm gonna try to only stream i can only stream between like seven and eight o'clock and i gotta get off uh for the fight coming up and this is how my schedule usually goes usually i get up at 4 30 in the morning i run six to eight miles uh come home and then we go to boxing a little bit later between like two o'clock then we come back home and pff, it's ridiculous. Like, that's like my schedule for the next eight weeks or 12 weeks, which is crazy. But we knock on the flock is out. So I get, uh, and I get a bonus for knocking out. So I'm working on that. Rob Molina coming over on this side. I, Rob Molina's not a subscriber on Twitch. I can't believe this. I can't believe he's not a sub hair, subscribe hair. So. What up, Ray, the pop guy? Add a mark in the mother flocking uh, house. Oh, you like this? This is my, uh... This is my Garmin. Punky bought me this. It has everything I could ever possibly want and need. Uh, I wear this thing every day. I'm still waiting to unbox my Groot. I don't know why this is over here, but this made me just think about it. And put this on Groot. The life-size or life-figure one. But, um... I think on Fridays, I'm going to do like a a toy news review, like the new stuff that was released. What do you guys think about that? Like on a Friday, Hammerhead's Rule, that's right. I, I enjoy supporting Hammer. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, if we hit 30 uh, viewers over there on Twitch, I will be giving away some kind of chase figure. Uh, do you collect NECA figures? Uh, this case behind me is, this is NECA, this is NECA, this is NECA, that's NECA. I have three other uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I have not unboxed yet. And with that, I am trying to, um, I'm trying to move it on up. I'm trying to unbox them soon. Um, I did add in some Mezco stuff down here. I added the uh, second Popeye today. Uh, I did like, you know, this is how I unboxed it. I took it out of the box, right? I took it and I said, I'm not even going to put any figures next to them because I don't want to enjoy this. And I'm just trying to fill up some spaces here. Um, some other stuff up top too. This figure is probably one of my favorite figures right now. Out of all the ones of this series. I forget the name of this. Like the bandana. I've got an itch to switch to switch twitch. Boom. This dude here. Uh, compared to Darth Maul and Vader, he and if I can get this thing to bend. Hold on. One hand in it. He up oh, there we go. He comes with the little samurai sword. Comes with this spear that's extra long. And then he has a flag on the back. They, um, they know how to get you really hardcore with uh, Stormtroopers. Like, if I could do it again, I probably would have only got the Troopers because of how many accessories this motherfucker comes. Terrible pun, I know. <laughs> when I take a shower, I like to get NECA before I get in it. 
That <laughs> Rob Molina's crazy ass. Uh, what's your name on Twitch? It's Life of Cletus, one word. It's usually in the description. And what I like about this figure compared to those other ones is the feet. Um, on these guys, when I show you like Darth Vader or Maul, their feet look like elves. They got like elf little feet. So he's pretty awesome. Um, this is the way he was posed on the back of the box. So I definitely want to throw that mother flock in there. Uh, I'll be in New York City next Thursday. Oh, nice. Uh, next Saturday at 11.30, we have a pop swap. I think I'm going to go live and just leave the camera rolling on there. But uh, let's see if we can get to him back up here. And most likely not. Let's see if I can get him a stand and then I'll move him. All right. I think I'll go with that. But uh, like, here's more. Uh, actually, no. It's Vader. Who has these flocking elf shoes? Up, oh, don't fall, buddy. Up, oh, we're doing this. We're really doing this. Okay, stay. Uh, okay. So, this is Vader, right? He got these goddamn pointy shows. shows. His shoes are flocking crazy looking. Look at those things. And then they, they just look so weird. I, I just don't get it. And then if you put it up like that. Look at that thing. I feel like his move should be not using a lightsaber and she should be just kicking people up their ass. Look at that thing. Like, he looks like he has the Joker's knife, his knife on there. Like, it looks like his like accessory knife. It looks so weird. I, I really hate it. Like, I hate it that much that I actually brought it up on the stream. Um, and I don't know. I don't like him at all. Uh, but the next one of these guys, <laughs> the next one of these guys I want to get is the Wolverine guys. You, if you guys did not get the Wolverine or you're not planning on getting the Wolverine, I recommend that one for sure. I saw it live at Toy Fair. Boom. Um, I also brought out these guys too. So I brought uh, Shokan, I think his name is, and Goro. Uh, I got Goro on that little like uh, ankle holder right there. And Rob Molina is out of his mind. Uh, instead of pop swap, we, I prefer wife swap. Just kidding. Hopefully, wife isn't watching. <laughs> um, wife swap sucks. You ever see that show? They have like the rich, wealthy white woman who switches with a. Poor family. Trail of trash. Trail of trash family. The kids eat bacon. Yeah. Like, I like bacon. Do. It's good for me. Uh, I just got Emerson City Comic Con exclusive. Mr. Miss, Miss Plastic today. Oh, yeah? He, you ordered him from FYE? Or he came in uh, from a trade or something? Whew. Yeah. Um... Popeyes. Oh, I unboxed this today too. The Mickey Mouse that comes with this. A bunch of things. Check this thing out. You guys seen these at your Target. So I want to show you them out of the box. This one for its price, I highly do not recommend it. It goes to Zelda. This is the Guardian. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. I didn't put them on him yet. Like I told you, I was just doing like a generic, like just opening up, putting in like a museum pose and see what happens. And then when I get to it, I'll do some videos on him. But he is not as cool as like the link for this is cool for sure. Uh, he does come with a extra uh, bow and arrow that you would get for the link one. But he is absolutely the worst. But for the Mickey, it was a surprise because I had no idea that like this, uh, this thing here was going to come out like this. And I like this thing a lot. Just the, I didn't know this came with it. This little Mickey studio it comes with like a little plug. These legs you actually attach and you can move them uh, and they come in and out uh, the top 
swivels a little bit. And it's a little Mickey Studio kind of thing. I thought the legs originally were like other legs you use for Mickey, but they're not. They go on this right here. Uh, and it comes with a little plug. What was that, Britt? Yeah, well, calm down. We go to one piece at a time. If anybody knows me, they know I'm joking. Love you, honey. <laughs> uh, next up. And this was the director's uh, chair. This was the Neno Droids uh, figures, by the way, for you guys who don't know that. And you can see the little hands on there, the little Mickey logo. He does not sit on the chair at all. So he's just more for, what would they call that? I don't know. For visual effects? I don't know what they actually call that. Like, he doesn't sit on it. You just use it for, like, in the back. I forget the name that you would use. I remember hearing a bunch of people say it, though. Chair, yeah, but he can't sit on it, though. No, you don't know what I mean. Um, and then Mickey himself. He comes with a bunch of different hands. He probably comes with around, I would say... Not the chair. I'm not talking about the chair. I'm, I'm talking about the... It's like a visual effect. Like, you, he doesn't use it. We know it's a chair. Uh, no. Uh, life is Cletus. Life is Cletus. Uh, got the yellow suit Wolverine. Which one? From which figure? From where? Who, what, when, and when? I got Deadpool and Iron Man would kill for Wolverine. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm trying to get that Wolverine. I didn't get the Iron Man. Um, the... Best one, Star Wars wise, is the Django Fett. Exclusive for Emerald City Comic. Got you. Uh, Hank, thank you for that. But um, this was pretty decent. I forget the price was for these. But instead of getting that Guardian thing, or even getting the other Neno Droids I own, because I own about six or seven decorative. I guess you could say it's a decorative. Yeah, it's more decorative. I like that. Thank you, Seahawk. I appreciate that. I call Rob the Joker of YouTube. See, when I see Joker, I just think of Heath Ledger. And, oh my God, I've seen that trailer for the other Joker film. Oh, I'm buying whatever figures they have. Hot toy-wise, yes. YouTube calls me a joke. Almost other not-so-nice things. <laughs> well, most people don't have that personality. Oh, he also comes with this, too. And action. And action. Um, he does have a hand that holds this. He does come with this base, which I love with these nano droids because they make it easy to stand. Even the Guardian comes with a base. Um, his feet do go up and down. He's not that easy to actually get on the stand at first. Like I played around with him because they have like this rubber body. Uh, but this came with him and I wanted to swipe this on, which was a pain in the butt to get together. This little cone. This thing was such a pain because his hand doesn't fit through there and you had to take it off, put it back on. Uh, the cuff links were coming off on him. And uh, I, I sat on the floor like a, a kindergartner and put all these figures together because they kept falling out of my hands. I was just like, uh, sitting there Indian, Indian style trying to get my thing on. So um, he definitely has less quality though as of the other Neno droids I have because... Like, you just see me take his foot off. I don't know if I got a faulty one that he's not, like, stronger to keep together. But he was, once you get him together, definitely awesome. I got this around Black Friday, too, for a pretty good price with all those sales. Like, I don't think I paid, like, more than, like, 20 bucks for these. But this was uh, something you guys, you'll see these all the time in Target. This and that Guardian. Um, if they got more nano droids, I definitely buy them because right now we own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets you can say of nano droids now. And maybe I'll move him up here. Oh, I got the Mario one too. So there's like ten of these. The other one you'll see is the Mario one. Um, I don't like that one. Out of all of them, I dislike the Mario one because it's supposed to come with this big scene that you're supposed to put together and the scene's like junk, which sucked. 
set dressing. <laughs> uh, Punk, you like the Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Are there Mickey Mouse? Not yet. I'll move them up to the top. How they look on top? Good. Which is nice. Mad Mango, Mad Man Mango. Thank you for your mother flocking follow, buddy. I appreciate that. 20 bucks for an no droid at Target, no flocking way. You got to do it during the season, baby. I got these during Black Friday time. Um, I paid like $12 for the Pokemon one uh, that I got from GameStop. I got that, uh, it's on, I posted it on, uh, during that time on Instagram. But, uh, tomorrow I'm going to unbox a hot toy. Appreciate that. Uh, with that mother flocker. Follow Madman Magoo. But, uh, tomorrow we're going to unbox a hot toy. Um, I don't know which one's going to be yet. His Black Widow, Iron Spider. Captain America, there's a Groot. Like, I'm trying to trim off the top and then get down to my favorite ones. And I figured out how I'm going to pose all my figures. All museum poses. I'm feeling museum poses lately. Like, the whole day, I was museum posing. Even my turtles. I went with the full-blown museum pose on everything. Uh, let's see if we can get to it. Like, museum posing... All around right here. Shut up. You lucky mother flocker. Get the flock. Yeah, I got it. Look at my Instagram. Somewhere on there. Well, don't waste your time. I don't know. Dude, you got to give them some personality. Ah. I, um. I don't think I want to. And. I don't know why. Because. I don't know what it is. I just don't want. I just don't want to do it. Like I had them all together, and posed up the way I liked them, and then like the turtles back here. I'm like, eh. But when all of a sudden, when you start adding like eight to an actual row, I really didn't like it. And then because I got all the hot toys coming up over here, like I'm just lining them up straight across. And I kind of fell away from posing them. Like I had them all posed up and everything. So I'm trying to stay away from them now and just move towards like away. Like I'm getting rid of all those Funko Pops. I'm listing them all for sale. There's Biggie's too. I think I'm keeping them Tupac. But the Michael Jackson, uh, Michael Jackson's I don't want. Uh, the Red Skull's for sale. All this crazy stuff. But I don't know. I'm feeling more of the basic poses maybe because i'm trying to keep space limited i don't know yeah madman magoo with them twitch prime thank you motherfucker boom 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 i appreciate that you sexy motherfucker i hope you're having a great night yeah uh you had some uh hit him with some of them emotes over there on twitch i think we still got some which are flocking adorable. If you don't have them, I don't know what you're doing with your life. There's hammerheads, there's chases, there's even a goddamn guinea pig in that thing. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but, you know, my, my uh, arranging for these characters is like never ending. It's never ending. Dude, you got to give them some personality. I feel sad. Like, Wonder Woman, I mean, uh, Black Widow, I'm just going to have to stand straight. Um... Who else is there? Captain America, he's standing straight. Iron Man, he's standing straight. Groot, I'm putting these shorts on him. But I'm going to keep him standing straight. That chasey mode is awesome. Hell yeah. With his red gloves. I hope not. I hope not. Um, even these guys, like you see Trunks up there, kind of straight. Gohan, he's standing straight. <laughs> I, uh, so Frieza is yeah everybody's standing straight for attention they are in military order yeah they're in, formation. they're in formation what's the deal with the twitch and Amazon um if you have an Amazon 
Prime account, it's free to subscribe over there on Twitch. You get emotes and you're entered in this month's giveaway for a signed uh, picture from boxing, a boxing picture that's around, personalized, a boxing card, and a t-shirt or a tank top. I haven't decided which one yet. And that's probably coming up in less than a week or so for the first person. I'm married, so I'm standing straight. I, 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 <laughs> You're a funny one. So that's that. So if you and it's free too. So if you have Twitch, uh, or you've had Amazon Prime, you just link the two accounts together and it's free. Uh, we're at total of 37 subscribers, and I want to thank you all over there who mother flocking did it. Uh, it's only five bucks a month. Two dollars and fifty cents goes to me. Uh, Two fifty goes to them. But you get a little bit more access, and you get first priority over here. Um, Who's that? Ubis Run Boy 87. Thank you for your follow. I appreciate that. Um, I'm always changing the uh, Twitch account names and numbers and uh, like the the uh, alert on that. Like that alert was off. So thank you for your follow, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, we got more stuff coming on too. So if you if you view me on Twitch. You get to rack in points. So the more you view, the more points you get. So like every 10 minutes you get one point. And then you can use those points um, in little games while I'm streaming. And like gamble them basically away. And then you can use your points and get them together. Hopefully for giveaways. And then most importantly, you can use them for me to follow you. On social media or you can use me for like shout outs in a video and show so on and so forth so if you head over there um, and you look at the loyalty system that's what's called called loyalty system like if I look in the loyalty system right now we have there's actually a bunch of pages Wow there is a lot of pages of people on here and I don't know if I can rank it by the point system, but like I have 5,651. So that is the most like main uh, main collector. He has 11 points. Some people have 2,000 points or, or Joan. She's always on it. She has 3,241 points. Uh, Punky Brat. RJ has 2,322 points. Lady Draco has 2,002 points. Tank. Lord Will, 334. Nerdy Treasure. Uh, Spirit Penguin. <laughs> Stabby got 21 points. Shelly, 310. Um, Seahawk. Mr. Magoo. Maybe it goes... I guess is where it goes from people who started. Punky Brat. Um, I don't know. I, gotta, I guess I could... Oh, I can do it right here. Search by user. You're Punky, right? It's a good color. Thank you. Punky Brat got 3,259 points. They both end up seeing stars. What is up? Cletus, you got to add me to in couponing at Barnes & Noble one day. You want to go? Like, do you want to go? Because look what I got right here. I have on prepare. I'm ready prepared. I have my coupon stuff right here. Like, you guys don't understand. I'm an extreme couponer. Straight up. We got them literally sitting right here. I'm waiting for uh, some figures to drop that I really want to use my codes. 20% plus another 10% when I go to store. So that's 30% off a single item, I think, on two of them. And then I got some chocolate, an adult book. I wonder what that includes. That's a, that's a weird one. What's up, Uncle Vince or Vince? I think... Uncle Vince is on this side. I forget which one. Does he respond to our comments over here on Twitch? Yes. Uh, I, I give priority to Twitch because I got two screens. So there's this screen. And then there's this screen. So this screen shows my Twitch stream. So whatever Twitch stream comes up here. And then when I look to the side here, there's the... Uh, YouTube stream, which 
gets second priority because I'm always looking this way, right? So I'll make sure the camera's right or whatever. So I love coupons. Uh, you and me can be friends. So yeah. SDA, what's going on? It's crack lacking. Oh my God, it's 808. Um, yeah, I do actually. We're gonna head to bed. Um, I am. Uh, I'm in training now, boys. I gotta go to boxing again. I gotta kick my butt. And if you guys were wondering where I've been for the past week for live streams, I'm eating these 500 calorie diets. Yeah. So for every day, you eat only 500 calories a day. Getting jacked. I feel. I feel chiseled. I just got no energy after like five o'clock. So. Waiting for Super Bowl to be released. I got a coupon him to grow affordably. RJ, that's all I care about, man. That's all important. You know, if other people are going to pay, because I seen it the other day, the guy was selling Super Bowl for $100 on Facebook. And he said it was a fair deal. I'm like, hell no. He's going to go for what, 80 bucks? Plus 30% off. That's my deal. With those, if you get the 30% off, it's basically buy two, get one free. For me. Buy two, get one free. And hey, 100 days till San Diego Comic Con. Holy shit. This is a... Thank you, uh, Al Gendo, 83. Um, I heard hotels go on sale this week. Have me going to New York Comic Con? Yes, but we got to uh, San Diego first. The number one Comic Con. If you guys never make it, plan on it. Take five years. Take your time out of your schedule. Plan on going to it because San Diego Comic Con is the best uh, con that you will ever go to. Out of all of them, literally. I went to New York, Emerald City, San Diego. I go to Star Wars, but I don't want to go there anyway. It's going to be cold-ish. Cold-ish for a day. But uh, San Diego, you literally walk... You walk there, if you want to go eat lunch, you just walk across the street. There's bars and restaurants everywhere. You want to go hang out at night? Well, your f group, whatever you're part of, is most likely having a little uh, get-together. A little gathering. Like, if you were part of the next community, you can go on Reddit and find a spot. Or you go to Reddit on, uh, or you go on a Facebook group. There's somebody having some kind of event each night for your people, uh, which is nice. We will talk over Instagram gotta head out good night i'll see you guys later i'm heading out of here too i want to go to san diego comic-con but taking a little we're taking it a little small right now i'm going to new york comic-con can't wait maybe we can meet up there yeah so i'll be at new york comic-con uh you can definitely meet me there and san diego comic-con tickets go on sale in october so yeah you don't want to do what i did last year but I enjoy all you mother flockers. Thank you, my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I uh, appreciate you mother flockers. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to unbox some kind of hot toy or some kind of figure. Um, I'm going to try to keep them to an hour stream, hour and a half streams.